Good morning from Tom Sawyer Park. Uh, what you see behind me is a future pollinator meadow. Uh, so this is an area of Sawyer Park. I'll put the map in the notes that go with this video, but this is an area of uh, Sawyer Park in uh, the south the south part, uh, the, the central part of the southern part. <laughs> it's kind of in the middle and it's kind of a little bit to the south. But it's a meadow area that uh, the park doesn't particularly care to maintain as a mowed area, so that makes it perfect for a pollinator meadow. So what's a pollinator meadow? Well, as you would guess, a pollinator meadow is good for pollinators. It's also good for ground nesting birds like quail and meadowlarks. Uh, quail and meadowlarks are down quite a bit in recent years, uh, largely because the state of Kentucky is covered with turf grass that is more like what you see behind me there. You know, we've covered the state with that, and and uh, it, it's all European. It's it's imported. It's European. It's not native to uh, to North America or Kentucky. Uh, and as a result, it, it has taken over. It's invasive. It has taken over. What it does is it takes over the habitat of ground nesting birds and also pollinators. So what we want to do is come in here with a mix of seeds from a good place like Roundstone Native Seeds, a mix uh, that includes just dozens and dozens of wildflowers including goldenrod including bee balm uh, and uh, wildflowers that uh, create habitat for pollinators and also so here's the thing about ground nesting songbirds I mentioned that ground nesting songbirds can uh, can have a habitat among native wildflowers but not so much uh, in you know European turf grasses so the, the way that happens is that ground nesting birds are, are wired to scurry uh, so they have their nest on the ground uh, they have to how do you escape from predators or, or hide from predators if your nest is on the ground? Well, the way they do that is that they scurry. Uh, they scurry in between the grasses and uh, uh, wildflowers such as I mentioned, goldenrod, bee balm, uh, those are such that adult birds and baby birds can scurry uh, on the ground and that's how they escape predators. In fact, even before the chicks are born, the parent will land and scurry. They won't land near the nest because that would tip off predators. So they land and they scurry over to where the eggs are or the baby chicks are before the baby chicks are scurrying around themselves. So uh, if they can't land and scurry, if the adults can't land and scurry, so they're hardwired to land and scurry. If they can't land and scurry, then they don't have babies uh, because they know not to waste their resources. Every plant, every animal has an energy budget and they know not to waste their energy budget on resources that are not going to result in, uh, in babies growing up. So when they can't land and scurry, they don't breed and they don't have babies. So we needed places for uh, quail and meadowlarks to land and scurry and the way we do that is to plant a pollinator meadow. So uh, on another video, we'll talk about the do's and don'ts of how to plant a pollinator meadow, how to make it successful, how to maintain it, and um, we'll talk about that on, an, on another day. Thank you very much.